We are at the Mammoth Metal Fest and I've just bumped into this guy here, Ricardo from Just One Fix. Now, um, I want to have a, a quick chat to you just to find out one, first of all, you performed earlier today and also you supported Corn. Yeah. So tell us about both those experiences. How's it been? You know, yeah, yes. No, it's been, it's been magic, mad kind of middle three days. You know, we like Thursday was. Um, was mad. We got down there and like uh, we, were, we were on at five to seven, um, and we didn't actually get to load in and set our gear up on stage for quarter past six. So we only got a line check. So it was all a bit like wow. Yeah. And rush same, day. Rush yeah. days. But at the same time, you know, it's like Chimera, one of my favourite fans. And those guys are kicking around and why has it boys walking around and you know you're just kind of buzzing out about that. Um, but it was good, man. We had a line check. We had really good sound. We went through the same guests that Chimera and uh, Bio has used. So we had all their gear. Yeah. Which was wicked. It sounded really, really mean. Uh, it was probably about 1,500 people there when we went on, you know, because the doors were supposed to be at 8 and then they changed it to 6.30, so it was all of it. Well, that, that is the one thing that I was a little disappointed about. All the tickets said that the gig was starting at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Yet here we've got two bands that are playing an hour before what's written on the tickets. Yeah. I know. You know, I mean, I, I thought the promoter could have done a slightly better job on, on that front. Yeah, well, I didn't actually know that there was a time change, um, you know, from a, from a work point of view until the Tuesday, so I had two days. Yeah, and this this gig's actually the doors are actually open to see, which was a bit of a bummer. But I mean, having said that, was a really good gig. I know there was a lot of people pissed off that they missed Chimera. Um, yeah, but yeah. it's already the Chimera boys. They're going back to the states now. Yeah, they got a month off. There's a five week American tour. Then they're working on a new album. They're planning to be back here in 2000. Show, so. Alright, well, you, you heard it here first, you know, uh, straight from, or almost from the horse's mouth. Close, yeah, yeah. The, and the, the, the person, mouth. yeah, the horse's brother's mouth. Chimera will be back in New Zealand in 2009. So, uh, aside from that slight hiccup, you know, wicked experience, big Huge. stage, you know, I mean, Victor Arena. Playing Victor Arena was just kind of, yeah, it's a bit daunting walking out there when you set the gear up and stuff and you're looking around and you're just going. You know, it's just, it was huge, but it was it was great. We didn't have a whole lot of stage to work with. We had four drum kits set up on stage. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. We, we, yeah. Kind of, we didn't have a heap room, but we probably still had more room than we're used to having, you know, than playing, you know, I don't know, the bollocks or anywhere else, you know, or, or, or King's Arms or whatever. So it was still pretty wicked, and then just looking at this vast expanse, you know, it was just, yeah, yeah, it was a really cool experience, and we just loved it. I'll play there again tomorrow, please. <laughs> Wicked. All right, and obviously uh, tonight is part of Mammoth Metal Fest. You guys were on about five o'clock today. How how was it? Yeah, how yeah. Was today's it was, experience. It was kind of a, a bit strange, really, because I, I played football, and so I played. Had to leave at half time to get here to do the gig, and I was like, literally just got changed in the car, and and off, off I went, and and it was kind of weird, sort of playing at five in the afternoon, but it was cool, you know. We had a bit of a crowd going in there, and um, got pretty good reception. So yeah, no, it was cool. It was, yeah, it's, a, it's a great idea, you know. Twelve bands in one day. It's Somebody's got to play with Oh, exactly. I mean, and it's a very ambitious idea, you know, to create um, something that really brings New Zealand's metal community together, you know, all in one spot. Yeah. I, I, I hope it, you know, carries on for years to come. And, you know, well, hopefully they can do it. Um, and like, yeah, a couple of Aussie bands have come over for it too. So, exactly. So uh, maybe, you know, in the future we can get, you know, maybe a, another international over as well or something. And, yeah, it's going to be huge. It'd be good to make an annual event on Sam's birthday. Yeah, how about that? Sam from Sedate, by the way, he, he was the guy that sort of organised this and put it all together. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, uh, future plans for uh, Just One Fix? Uh, well, we, at the moment, we've just got a new bass player. Oh, uh, yeah. Our old bass player became a dad and decided he didn't have time. So we've got a new bass player. He's only young and he's hungry. He's got from Lee. And um, so we've jammed with him a few times. He's played these two gigs with us. We're rehearsing next week. We've got a few new songs written. Uh, look at playing a few shows around the country, sort of June, July, promoting the album again. And then trying to get back on the studio to do a new album by the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, lots going on. Sounds right. good. Yeah. Hi, bro. Cheers, bro.